Hey, I'm Tracy Burns here with my girl Elizabeth McDonald. We're going to talk about three stories that everyone seems to be talking about and tell you whether or not you should care and whether we care. Let us know where you stand. This is a big one going on here with American Sniper still. What is up? Bradley Cooper, the star of the movie, who also won an award for it, is responding to critics of the film he did, how he portrays Iraqi war, Navy SEAL, heroic genius, Chris Kyle. I have no idea why um, this whole thing, Liz, with Chris Kyle became so controversial because the movie, and Bradley Cooper came out and said it again, is about what soldiers go through, the plight of the soldier and his family. That was the point of this movie. Yeah, I mean, Chris Kyle's comments in his book, Calling Iraqis Savages, I think that was the focal point. Uh, You know, what Bradley Cooper said is, I think, spot on. He's saying, you know, numerous vets commit suicide every day. Yeah, I think he said 22. Yeah, the focus should be on the veterans. 3,500 deaths during the Iraq War, 32,000 wounded, and their families, what they suffer through. Veterans carry, Tracy, so much inside them in isolation. So that's what Bradley Cooper says the focus should be. And he is nominated for a number of other awards. You should care about this story because this actor studied Chris Kyle. And by the way, there are foreign snipers as well. So for totally. Michael Moore to be attacking, you know, I mean, well, any sniper, this, these guys you know, are the that's reason what we the are case free. Is. Chris Kyle uh, unfortunately died two years ago on February 2nd. His second anniversary was just the other day. He was 38 years old. And there was a People Magazine actually did a spread on the two of them now, Liz. And um, his wife came out and said, a month before his death, she finally got her husband back because, to your point, it is so hard to come back. And, and carry all that and like assimilate back into society. It's, you know, the movie is not some crude one-line narrative, no. right? It's about the extraordinary sacrifice, psychological, personal, that our men and women go through in fighting wars. And how very difficult it is. And their and families as well. You should care. About our vets and guys like Chris Kyle. All right, moving on. Ugh, again, this guy's back. Jonathan Gruber, Lizzie, the so-called architect of Obamacare, out again, flapping his lips. This time he's saying that we should really think about taxing people by their weight because we have to address the obesity problem here in the United States, Liz. Sorry, he wrote an essay that came out in April 2010. Right. Right. So that's the story. This has just been revealed. Right, right, right. right. I'm sorry. This is up again. Someone found this and rebooted it, I guess, all over the place again. But the point is he said it. Yeah, direct taxes on body weight. So never mind the bureaucratic bloat from Obamacare. Amen. His spreadsheet, his computer algorithms were the basis for Obamacare. He is the architect right. of it. So, by the way, never mind the so-called death panels. You're going to have a heft panel <laughs> in the White House. It's or not the White House, the government thing. to measure body fat, to tax it. I don't understand what he was trying to get at. It's in health premiums anyway. The that is exactly right. Anyway. You're paying it in higher premiums. And look, we have seen taxes don't work. Ask a cigarette smoker if the high taxes have made a difference in how much That's they smoke. That's a good smoke, point. Right? And the best is, you know, back in the day, Lizzie, I used to follow the big muscle heads of the world. Lee Haney was like a billion time Mr. Olympia. The guy must weigh 400 pounds easy of muscle, not an ounce of fat. So how do you tax a guy like right, that? Right, he's got the body fat of a greyhound, exactly. right? Exactly. So how do you tax it? So how would you even find it? This is stupid. This You'd have to pay t- a lot of IRS people to find the body fat. <laughs> Just like they try to find your hidden income to tax you. <laughs> you... You should, should never care about never this. care about Jonathan. This Gruber. is never going to happen. You should never care about Jonathan. He's Gruber. too quote too stupid to have come up with that. I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, but you did. We're moving on now. This story is <laughs> all Lizzie. Here, look, we are all about transparency here. Transparency. Tell us like it is. Senate Judiciary now is making a move on the Freedom of Information Act to get more information, and in particular, Lizzie, you brought this up earlier. The IRS. Nobody touches them. Right. And, you know, it's a great point. And, you know, I get it. The FOIA Act, the White House being criticized for first saying we will be transparent, now not being as transparent. FOIA is the Freedom of Information Act. Right. But, in Trace, when you get those records, you know they're redacted a lot. Here's my problem with this whole thing. Back up. Have the true investigations of federal agencies when they go wrong. That audit was just an audit of the IRS by the Inspector General. He did a terrific job, a great job to find the Tea Party conservative group targeting. But what I'm talking about is true investigative probes into the IRS, meaning depositions, meaning interrogatories, meaning subpoenas. These, uh, you know, the DOJ, the SEC, they investigate companies all the time. Time and again, we have seen federal agencies go awry, they go off the rails, they need to be probed. And right, because that's the issue. That is the issue. This is why you should care. They should be treated. You know what? The way they rake our companies over the coal 
Every government organization should be raked the same way. Right. You That's should right. care. Not just an inspector general audit. No, no, I'm no. I'm talking investigation I'm with investigative guns powers. Guns blow in investigations. That's what we want. You should care. You should care. Tell us if you care on Twitter. Hashtag should you care. Thanks for watching.